On a recent industry trip to Kentucky, we got to check out a very special place located in the heart of Franklin County on the banks of the Kentucky River. It's an institution steeped in an abundance of history who has a proven track record that simply cannot be compared to others. This is the one and only Buffalo Trace Distillery, of course. Buffalo Trace is named after the ancient pathway the buffalo used to transverse this part of the Kentucky River that Daniel Boone also used in 1774. Nearly 200 years old, it is the world's most award-winning distillery, using time-tested methods with modern ingenuity to produce the best bourbon on the planet. Since 1811, when Benjamin Blayton started his still here, they have been producing continually through wars, prohibition, and pandemics, leaving behind a culture of distilling steeped in history and rich with tradition. Our tour started with a welcome breakfast of local delights from the county to give us a base for our epic journey ahead. We were provided beautiful leather-bound notebooks to help us record all the amazing information that a tour of this magnitude would provide. After a few welcoming words from our host, Chris Hallahan, we were off to the races. We met up with our guide, David, who knew absolute everything about the campus. Our first stop was a mesmerizing one, one that he says steals the hearts of anyone that looks upon it, the barrel train. Buffalo Trace has been using the same gravity-fed system to move their barrels of bourbon for hundreds of years. Watching these pot belly barrels slowly roll to their destiny definitely puts a smile on your face. The rules behind bourbon are unique in the booze world. First, the mash has to be at least 51% corn by law. Second, the clear grain spirit must be housed in a new, freshly charred barrel. Buffalo Trace has been using American White Oak Center cut barrels since the start, charred for exactly 55 seconds, which gives it the start to its unique, rich flavor. Once the barrels are filled and sealed, they mature in a warehouse until ready to be blended. A special drill is used to remove the bung and the conveyor belt slowly rolls the barrels over so that they can naturally drain from the containers. Fragments of charcoal that have come loose during the maturing process drain out as well, further filtering the rich elixir inside. Our tour brings us to the infamous Building P, where Buffalo Trace ages some of its most rare bourbon. The gilded room here is kept just above the temperature needed to create the reaction between the barrel and the liquor for aging, resulting in a remarkably slow but remarkably smooth finish. Barrels here can cost in the millions. David then told us about the dark shadow that hangs over the distillery, quite literally. Every surface here, including the trees, are covered in a very special type of black fungus that literally lives off the fumes that come from distilling. In the old days, it was how they would discover moonshiners, and is actually an indication of a very healthy distillery, adding a unique macabre patina to the grounds. Next, we duck quickly into Blayton's Bottling Hall to see one of Buffalo Trace's most premier products being packaged up for worldwide delivery. Bottles of Blayton's are extremely rare, so to see a flock of them like this in one location is quite a sight. Next, we step back into time as we enter one of the century-old warehouses where an interesting discovery happened recently. While excavating, they found the original fermenting pits from the 1800s still intact, along with a treasure trove of artifacts that paint a clear picture of bourbon making from 200 years ago. In traditional Buffalo Trace fashion, they have been restoring this beautiful building and have even lined one of the tanks with new copper to attempt a batch of bourbon done in the old style. Stepping back outside, David shows us exactly how close we are to the river where Buffalo Trace still draws its Kentucky limestone mashing water rich in minerals that give its product its unique character. The river is also a character, having flooded to astronomical heights over the years that you can still see marked on the ancient walls. One building that will never completely flood is the four-story 10,000-gallon still room or the equally tall mash house, whose roof actually had to be raised to accommodate some of the world's largest tanks. Inside, you can see the golden vats that give life to bourbon, like a delicious primordial soup of live yeast making happy booze. After seeing everything that goes into creating this world-class product, it, it was time for the big time, the tasting session. We poured into their elegant but simple tasting room, where we were greeted with a selection of their most popular and finest offerings. Wheatley Vodka, a base where bourbon starts. Weller, which is a weeded bourbon. The well-known Buffalo Trace Straight Bourbon. The refined single barrel Blayton's Bourbon. And a Sazerac Rye, which is spicy and fiery. 
Everyone was extremely excited to see how these legends matched up to one another as master distiller Harlan Wheatley led the group in a walkabout through the world of bourbon. The flavors are amazingly complex and colorful. Even though they all come from a relatively same base, the unique process of how each variety's age completely changes the flavor profile and even the texture of the liquor. As Harlan explains how the barrels breathe in the liquor through the char inside the barrels in the hot months, and then squeeze it out in the constricting cold, you can taste the reaction on your palate. It gives me a whole new appreciation for my favorite brand, something that I think everyone was in agreement on. Next, we were treated to a delicious and fresh lunch back at the visitor center to give us the energy to what came next. Making our way to the clubhouse, I got to experience something very special and unique. Each property was given an opportunity to select a unique barrel to be bottled for use at their beverage outlets. They had selected three contenders, which were cast strength and placed in glass flasks on their table. Now they had the opportunity to experience them and decide which one of the three they would make their own, creating a specialty branded bottle not available anywhere else. With a little help from some of the masters like Olivier who has a great nose for bourbon and Gary who takes it to an almost religious level, everyone made a bit of history that day with their personally branded bottles. We then got a special treat from Buffalo Trace's brand ambassador, Katie O'Donnell, on a few cocktail combinations to be considered when crafting the perfect drink with their new bourbons. Katie is an absolute Marvel mixologist that brings unique and fantastic products into the spotlight, injecting the shocking back into the shot glass, and mixes up an absolute stunner of a drink that we all got to try. While libated, it was easy to slide over to the clubhouse back bar, where we were treated to some amazing little hors d'oeuvres and more fantastic cocktails from their resident mixologist. We got to mingle a bit before a beautiful sit-down dinner with a stunning set menu that paired a bourbon with each seasonal dish. If you didn't think you could drink four bourbons with a four-course meal, you were wrong. The herd came in and we dined on amazing dishes carefully crafted by their resident chef that everyone enjoyed to the absolute max. Finishing it all off with a classic Buffalo Trace Irish coffee, this was a meal for the memory books. We got to thank the amazing team that put this whole day together and made an incredible memory that would not be forgotten soon, regardless of how much bourbon they fed us. To top things off, a special stop at Buffalo Trace's private lodge located above the distillery valley. Besides a stunningly beautiful location, we were greeted with something otherworldly. Five of the most rare bottles in the world. There was OFC, which is the heritage brand of Buffalo Trace standing for Old Fashioned Copper, two last drop bottles that were from the 60s, and of course the unicorn of the bunch, Pappy Van Winkle, a bottle that I've only heard rumors of whose name is legendary. After a day of surrounding ourselves with world-class bourbon, swimming through amazing history and culture, this nightcap of jewel-like drams of the world's most rare liquor put a perfect finish on a perfect day. This experience could not have been conceived without the amazingly generous team at Buffalo Trace, who were also sweet enough to indoctrinate us with a certificate of completion, having learned truly everything about the wonderful world of bourbon in Kentucky. Here's to 100 years more of making magical history.